Hello, hello, and welcome to my first video. Wow, if you hear in the background, there is some fun music going on. Um, that's because right now I'm in Guanajuato, Mexico, and it's tomorrow's my last day, but I've been here about a week and a half, and I honestly have not left the apartment that much, and I've been kind of not feeling that great for the majority of the trip, but there have been like a couple good days and I really do like it here actually. Um, it's like so beautiful. Um, maybe I'll put in some little pictures in here. Voila. Um, but yeah, so this is my first little sketch with me video. They're gonna be uh, weekly maybe and I'm gonna just see if it's something that I like doing. Um, so this is gonna be like slightly sped up maybe because otherwise the video might be like a half hour long and you can kind of tell uh, that I'm a little awkward with this drawing just because I'm like trying to keep the sketchbook in frame and <laughs> like there's a tripod like an inch from my arm and of course I'm all like oh my god uh, someone's gonna watch me I have to it has to be perfect and then it turns out to be kind of a boring drawing but yeah, I really like drawing these, um, like, kind of weird portraits. Um, this isn't, like, the best example, uh, but it's kind of silly. I might try to do, like, a bigger, more fully developed version of it, like, when I get back. Um, yeah. <laughs> so thank you for listening and watching. Um, I put all my art on my Instagram, which is at Andrea Charlene. Uh, I'm trying to be a lot more like focused on art because I'm just oh, life is hard and overwhelming and sometimes I feel like I just don't know what I'm doing but art is something that in general I've always enjoyed to an extent and oh my gosh my face just like peeking in the corner there awkwardly and this oh wow there you can see it but um i've been having like really bad acne this whole trip and i have a problem where i'll just like pick at it even if it's like nothing and then it just turns into a big red scab so this is nice that uh, you at least mostly can't see my face in this video um probably gonna wait a while to do any kind of forward facing talking video on this new rebooted channel experiment that I'm doing right now since uh yeah that's a problem <laughs> anywho la, let me think what do I want to talk about this is gonna be hard <sighs> I'm like not that great at thinking of things and maybe next time I will come up with a list of ideas for these moments when I'm getting stuck, but maybe you will just enjoy listening to me be stressed out about not knowing what to say. Maybe that is entertaining. I really don't know, but <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, this trip is cool. Um, it didn't really turn out exactly how I envisioned but it's completely my fault um like i was reading an article today that was like nine reasons not to travel alone or solo travel or whatever and i was like wow kind of wish i saw this article beforehand but i'm sure if i had read it beforehand i would have been like that's not gonna apply to me i'll be fine i'm so excited um but yeah i don't know it's really just hard for me to get out and do stuff and being completely transparent um this is the fourth day in a row that I haven't left the apartment so I guess like three days ago or four days ago I went grocery shopping in the morning and that was it the day before that was pretty good and then three days before that didn't go out of the apartment at all except to go grocery shopping once and then, well, my first day here, I like spent the whole day outside and it was great. So yeah, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, um, but I did a lot of recording music. Uh, I released a short EP um, that I'm not actually that proud of, 
But then the day I released it, I recorded another new song, and it's actually my favorite thing I've ever made. So when I get back, the plan is to record a music video with my friends, um, which I hope goes well. That could be fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I have the tendency of getting really excited about things and planning them and thinking they're going to be great and then either never doing them or just like like this trip like like I was going to a plan was I was going to go out every day and I was going to like buy tacos from the locals and uh, try all these different restaurants and today's plan was actually go to was to go to um, San Miguel. Uh, uh, I'm not. I can't talk. Right, San Mi, San Miguel Allende, Allende, which is about like an hour from here. And I was gonna go to this vegan taco place, and it's like the only vegan place in the city, and it only went vegan like this month. It was like mostly vegetarian before that, I believe. So yeah, I was trying to get myself all psyched up, and I was like, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna go to this like children's toy museum, and gonna be great <laughs> and then last night I was just like oh my god I don't want to leave the apartment I can't do it so yeah I don't know I the plan is when I get back is to find a psychiatrist and actually start taking like some anti-anxiety medication and see if that helps um, yeah but anyway, yeah, I was reading that article about like nine reasons not to solo travel. And I think like reason number three was that all the alone time, you just start like, you just think and you think and you think and you think and you think. And it can be bad sometimes to think that much. And um, when I read that, I was like, oh, thank God, I'm not completely insane for basically having my quarter life crisis this week. Like <laughs> I posted something on Facebook where I'm like, basically like please anyone tell me what to do with my life because I just was feeling so lost um yeah and like every time this week that I've like reached out on social media that I wasn't feeling well like I've gotten so much support from people and it's been great but sometimes it also just feels like really crappy to share that kind of stuff over and over again and you're just like wow, I am just a ball of negativity and I am nothing else. And like, I can't imagine why anyone would ever want to hang out with me. <laughs> and yeah, so this at this point in the drawing, I add in the eyes and he looks very, um, very, uh, I don't know, concerned. But you know, I was feeling pretty concerned while I was drawing this. I'm always feeling pretty concerned. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess he doesn't look that concerned, but yeah, he gets more concerned looking as the, as the drawing progresses, I promise. <laughs> um, oh yeah, because I try adding in some little, uh, like, furrowed brow, which didn't really turn out that great, but uh, whatever. It's not like I was using a reference, and I didn't even have a plan for this drawing. I just, like, started drawing, which is what I usually do. Um, I, and I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think making YouTube videos could be something that gives me a little bit of drive and makes me feel like I'm actually working on something and like, I don't know, because I go off and on between like really focusing on illustration and then really focusing on music and like whenever I'm not doing one or the other, I'm stressed out that I'm not doing one or the other and I feel like I'm not being productive. I don't know. So maybe I'm just adding one more thing to be stressed out about, or maybe this could just be a really simple, easy routine. And it, could, and so far this is actually feeling great talking. Part of that might be because I've been so isolated and really haven't talked to anyone in a week. Um, yeah, this isn't a predominantly English speaking town, don't you know? Um, and I'm sure even if I had gone outside and it was America or something, I probably, wouldn't have talked to anyone like I realized I've known this for a while that my job is like my main social outlet and when I'm not working I just kind of I'm at home and uh and I just don't you know like I even have a problem like grocery shopping like I moved into my apartment 
in July, and I think I've gone grocery shopping a total of three times. Um, and I think one or two of those times was with a friend, because like, I don't know, I just get so anxious and I'm like, okay, so I'll just eat at work and then the rest of the time I'll get takeout, even though it's incredibly expensive. And I'm like, wow, I might actually not be like sad when I look at my bank account if I was just, if I just bought groceries regularly. But yeah, anyway, since I've been here, I've kind of had to do that. So I realized, you know, you know what's terrifying is going to a grocery store where you can't understand anyone. And if I can do that, I can probably go grocery shopping when I get home. Like, and I realized I kind of fell in love with cooking again. I was like making like tacos for myself and I'm like, oh my God, this is great. And I had so much fresh produce because everything's really pretty cheap here. And I was just like, not even like looking at prices and like, and then it would only be come out to be equivalent to maybe like $15. And I'm like, this is wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, for a while, a couple of days during this trip, I was like, oh my God, I should move here. But I realized that I would have an extremely hard time getting a job. So like the only, the only situation in which I think I could live here is if I, really super de duper focus on my like art stuff and find a way to monetize that because I make no money from it. Like maybe like every like six months, <laughs> like someone will be like, I want you to do this thing and they'll give me a little bit of money, but it's not like anything at all. And I know that's my own fault because I'm just not very consistent. Um, like I'll just have like with most things that I do, I just get psyched and really motivated for like, maybe a couple weeks if I'm lucky and I'll do so much work for it and it'll be like my new thing and then it just kind of slowly and then very quickly drops off kind of like when I started my depop and I was like this is gonna be my thing this is gonna be my income and I was making like a hundred dollars in sales a week and that was like pretty good because yeah I was like making a profit and it felt like another revenue stream and I was like this is great it really adds up and then <laughs> and then I, I guess that's around the time where I started taking illustration more seriously and that kind of stopped. I still sell stuff, but it's like pennies, basically. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how people do it all because I want to do it all. And I, I know that's not possible. Like I was talking to my best friend and we have this wonderful idea to uh, kind of start a creative business together. Like we're both illustrators and musicians and we want to like try to make like patterns for like clothes and like design stuff to sell basically. Um, <laughs> obviously the whole plan isn't thought out that well yet, but it kind of started yesterday actually because um, like in response to my post on Facebook where I was like, I don't know what to do. And like some of my dreams are of course, like being able to make a living off of illustration or music, but you know, <laughs> I've gotten to that point where it just feels really unrealistic or I just have to like approach it differently and like find a way to actually reach people and get my art out there. And so, yeah, that's part of the reason I'm doing YouTube. Hi. Um, but also, I, just because I, I think this will be fun and I think it'll be a way to meet people because I'm like not that great at talking in real life. I, I have really super bad social anxiety. I've had it since I was existed, since I first could talk like in preschool, like people were like, she's weird. She doesn't talk. So it's basically just who I am. But I can talk like this. Obviously, I haven't stopped like people maybe that I work with that may or may not be listening to this. Wow, this is embarrassing. If you are listening, I feel a little ner a little weird, but it's cool. Thank you so much. You probably never heard me talk this much before, and you're like, "This is Andrea." Oh, okay, neat. Like, at least I hope that's what your reaction is. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me think. Um, yeah, and another dream I've had is like opening my own cafe or something, or like 
see I work at like a, a vegan like deli place and um and it's really the only job I've ever had and I realized like I want to do something like this and actually have creative control because like I don't know like I envision very specifically what it would look like and I think the idea of like making the menu is so exciting oh yeah and here in this video uh if you just notice the rose just popped up on the screen um that's because my phone ran out of storage and i didn't realize it because it's not like it makes a sound or anything which would be really helpful i just like looked and i was like oh <laughs> we lost a couple minutes here <laughs> anyway amateur hour um yeah so yeah he's looking pretty sad and crying and yeah ideally I would have like drawn a hand holding the rose and stuff, but I wasn't really feeling it. I just kind of was like, this is what the drawing is. Cause um, yeah, I'm not gonna look up reference <laughs> and I can't draw a hand from my, from my brain. <laughs> that would just be bad. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a really great artist, guys. <laughs> I really take it seriously, clearly. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, this is supposed to be laid back. Like I'm just sketching whatever happens and talking because that's what you do. Um, yeah, that music's still going. How nice, how wonderful. <laughs> Let me see, how much time do we have? Wow, this video is almost over. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. Um, this is bananas. This is actually kind of fun. I don't know if I actually talked about anything really interesting, but maybe you got to know me a little bit better or at all if you're a stranger watching this, which would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow, since it's my last day, I'm going to try to go to some museums and maybe that like marketplace that's supposed to be really cool. Um, I'm gonna try to make the most of it and not let myself be a hermit again because I don't think I could forgive myself because I mean it's not like it was really that affordable for me to take all this time off of work and uh, like have a vacation <laughs> but even th though it didn't turn out turn out exactly how I planned I guess it was still worth it in many in some ways like just because I did get a lot of stuff done that I wouldn't have if I was in Brooklyn and working full time and yeah and like one of my coworkers said when I was having a bad day like at least even if I'm stuck inside here the view's really nice <laughs> like you just look out and you see all those colorful houses and yeah it's better than seeing the drab cold cement of Brooklyn yeah it's true <laughs> Can't wait to get back and see all my dead plants since I didn't have anyone water them. Eh. Yeah, there's the drawing. Again, thank you for watching and please, please follow me on Instagram. Uh, I will post this drawing, which I added a little bit too, and you'll see other stuff that I do. So thanks. Bye. <laughs>